Welcome. Today we came to see windows. We have a lot of windows to replace on our renovation. So we came to a showroom here in Spain, in Badajoz, and we came to see the models, understand a little bit of what are the aspects, what we want in terms of glass, the colors, and as well the materials. So today we are here in Badajoz and let's go see some windows. Here we are in the showroom and I'm going to be walking you through a couple of windows that we are considering for our house. So this company focuses and is a revender of some of the brand called the Sonic. I'm probably butchering this word, but this is a brand that is from Belgium and is specialized in making high quality uh, PVC uh, windows. So they have a reputation of making pretty solid windows with a lot of security. So let me show you some of them. So this is a PVC window and you can already notice that it has a lot of elements of security. It, it's not like a pin on top and on the bottom that locks your window to the frame, but is this here, here, and you also have it here on top and on the bottom that gives you this extra security element. They have several colors, so you can go with the default white or you can uh, have as well this wooden uh, texture. And they also make the windows with, um, I don't know how you call it this in English. L let me just show you what I'm talking about. This little, in Portuguese we say estores. So they also make it with these and they can be uh, manual or they can be automatic as well. It depends on your needs and as well on your budget. These are some samples of the profiles of the windows. And you can see this is a triple window. So three glasses. And you can see the profile, they use fiberglass in here to make it more thermical and more acoustic. And they try to remove all the elements of iron or um, iron elements. So it does retain and keep the, uh, the heat in your house. So this is an example of one of the profiles. By the way, I'm not an expert in windows. I'm trying to convey all the information that I got from uh, the seller's person. I'm trying to do my best here, so stay tuned. So this is, let me open to you. This is what they call a window for your balcony. It is pretty massive one. You can ask for it to have keys. And this is something we are definitely considering for one of our doors into the garden and look at how massive this is. And again, just the details of security. You have one clip here, another one here, and another one in the bottom that makes it really secure when you lock your door. It's pretty secure. Let me just close it. And this one comes with the automatic going up and down. So if you consider having your windows with um, the stores, how we say in Portuguese, something to keep in mind is the type of insulation that you want to have in this box here. And this is where you have different types of solutions. You can have a pretty simple box. Let me show you. This one here. This is a very simple uh, box for the, the persiana. It has not a lot of isolation. So you need to keep in mind that you're probably gonna have some temperature and maybe a little bit of noise coming in because this is pretty much the only thing you have here to protect you. And then if you wanna go really pro, this is what you have. It has an acoustic barrier here. It has a lot of insulation so you retain your heat at home and then you don't lose anything. And then it has to be automatic due to the fact that you're spending all this money to have insulation and you don't wanna make a hole here to put 
the little string to pull it up and down. Then you have a whole bunch of selection on the types of materials you want to use. For instance, this one is specifically for security. It's a really solid one. You can't really pull it up or down. And then you have other options. This one is not the security, it's just a standard one. But you have a lot of colors and elements that you can use. So I'm just keep, gonna keep walking and show you a little bit of the samples they have here. So they have several uh, colors you can choose from. The basic one is white. When they make it is the white is a basic color you get. But then you can choose a black, you can choose a wooden, this wooden kind of look. And when it comes down to price, we were explained that it really depends. Uh, obviously the white, the one that the default is the cheapest one. But if you want other colors, it really depends on how many windows you have. And the reason is that they need to cut this material. And if you just want one window, they will have leftovers. And if they don't have other customers that want this color of window, they are left with material they're not using. So therefore they need to put that price back to the customer. Now, if you want a color that a lot of people pick up, like this one, for instance, this with a look, then you're probably gonna get a, a better price because they know they can sell the leftover of what was used to make this window. So that's something to keep in mind. Don't jump into, oh, this might be too expensive. Always ask. They'll give you the prices, depending on how many windows you have. That will determine the price, and then you can select if it's worth it or not. So for this um, Belgian brand called uh, Desu Unique, <laughs> I'm sorry, this name is hard to pronounce. You have a whole bunch of colors you can choose from. So you can see that you have the wooden ones. So you have tons and tons of options. You have colored wood, just giving you a sense of it. Then you have solid colors. And right now we're leaning towards this one, kind of a grayish color, but you have tons of options you can choose from. And you can even have some metallics if that's your vibe. So there's lots to choose from. This is the brand we are looking at. I'm coming back at this door because this is probably one we are choosing to give us access to the garden. And something, an issue that we have where we have the house is there's a lot of uh, mosquitoes and flies and it's really annoying. So we wanted a solution where you can have a mosquito net, but one that you can easily use. So this one is fantastic. You just pull it. And there you go, here you have your beautiful net, so no more mosquitoes. How awesome is this? I don't know if you can see it, you probably can see it here. Here you go. As well for the traditional window, you also have a mosquito net, so that's a must for us. We most definitely want mosquito nets. Pull it up. and pull it down and no more mosquitoes mosquito problem is absolutely solved so let's talk a little bit more about this brand Desionic. i'm sorry i'm always butchering this name and when you look at their white windows uh, you probably think will this get yellowish or will this start cracking over time and the thing is that they use a chemical product called Dioxido de Titanio. I'm telling it in Spanish because I really don't know how to translate this. And they follow the European normatives of having enough of that product on the materials in a way that over the years it will not crack and it will not start being uh, yellowish. Now, if you get windows from countries outside the European Union, there is no regulation, so therefore they might not have enough of that product or the oxido de titanio. And after a couple of years, what will happen is that you will start seeing it getting yellowish and start seeing crack it, cracking, so it will not be as smooth and good looking as it is right now. So I'm going to do my best to talk a little bit about profiles. So these are two types of profiles. This one is the most expensive one, meaning top of the, the line, and this one is medium. And we were explained that this one is pretty good for Portugal and Spain. 
And this one is normally used for the Nordic countries due to the fact that it controls even the one degree loose on temperature and um, also uh, noise cancellation. And that's a fact that is important for the Nordics because they have heating running all the time. So that makes a huge difference for them on their heating bill. But for us, for instance, here, it doesn't make such a huge issue. Uh, one degree, we probably don't even notice. But the, big, the biggest difference is the fact that you don't have, on the most expensive, you don't have this metal element here, which is able to let a little bit of the coldness or heat come through, but very minimal. And the most expensive one, you don't have that. So that's, that's one of the biggest elements. The rest for isolation and keeping uh, the noise out, they use a lot of glass fiber to retain the temperature. Right now we are leaning towards the gray color. We think it makes a great contrast against the against our white white walls. This door is also massive. So they don't do only windows, they also do doors. And just look at the size of this. Let's show you as well some really impressive windows. Although we don't have space in our house to put these windows, they are a dream. So let me show you. Look at this window. It is absolutely massive. Esta es de 300 kilos el vidrio. 350, wow, 350 kilos, and you push it with, uh, with your finger. That's how easy it is to close. ¿Cómo se llama esta ventana? Sistema Open Max. Open Max, Sistema Open Maxima. So this window you can open to both sides. Um, and as well, as you can see, it's a uh, it's pretty huge and it's pretty easy to manage and open across. So this is a security blind, so no one can get in. Ventilación y visibilidad. Esto no se puede. No se puede subir. Porque hace autoblocante aquí. It, blo it blocks it. Y ahora. Ya está. Genial. Gracias. I hope this video was helpful for you to understand what are the options in terms of windows, what are the specifications and so on. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you follow our renovation journey. Thank you very much for watching.